Well, hi there. This is a quick review of a 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery from Amazon. Now, this is from China, like pretty much all these batteries, and runs currently around 75 bucks a pop. Now, looking at the spec sheet, uh, this is rated at 20 amp hours and has a rated max continuous current draw of 20 amps. It has a max peak current of 60 amps. Now placing this on the scale, it is measured at 5.5 pounds of weight, which isn't too bad for this class of battery. So the plan here is to bench test two of these batteries. They're the same battery, ordered at the same time. My plan is to use these for two electric reels, the Daiwa Tenacom 750 reels. Now they're rated at 3 amps, typical power draw, 10 amp stall power draw, and a peak start current of 30 amps. That's the inrush current when starting the motor. Now this battery is rated to provide greater than those specs, so we should in theory be okay with using this battery. But the idea is to do a capacity test before using these batteries to make sure that they can supply full rated capacity. So they've been charged and we're ready for the test. Now using a load tester at around 13 amps of continuous power draw will get us near the max power sink this particular load tester can dissipate. So we'll let this roll and we'll come back and see what the capacity is of this battery. Okay, we're back here now after we ran the capacity test. Now the voltage is showing near zero volts. That's because the BMS in the battery pack is disconnected at full discharge to protect the cells of the battery. And this stinks. <laughs> we have a tested capacity of only around 16 amp hours in a so-called 20 amp hour battery. So that means we're about 25% less than rated capacity, and that's no good. This battery has failed the capacity test. So maybe this just happens to be a bad battery. So we have a second one here and we'll run the same test. And we'll let this roll and we'll come back and see what the tested capacity of battery number two is. All right, well, we're back. Battery number two. And if we look at the load tester, it just shut off. The BMS disconnected at full discharge to protect the cells. And look at where we're at. We're at 20.19 amp hours. So we are at rated capacity with this battery. That's cool. So this battery tested okay while the first one failed. So either this is just a one-off issue or they have a quality control issue with this battery packager. Um, the, the moral of the story is if you are seriously looking at buying and installing or using any uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, it's wise to invest in a load tester. Otherwise, we are just running on faith with the stated capacity of these batteries. Load testing before putting the battery in operation, it's good so you know if you got a good battery off, off the uh, factory floor or if you got a lemon and you need to send it back. Plus it gives you the opportunity to test the battery down the road to confirm that the capacity is still near the stated specification or if you need to seriously think about replacing the battery. So having a tester is super important. At any rate, it looks like for the price, this battery provides a good 20 amp hour source, especially if you're looking for a lightweight five and a half pound battery uh, with this capacity. So if you found this review helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'm buying these things out of my own pocket and your subscriptions and thumbs up helps me out. So thanks for watching and take care.